Hey everybody, Judy Seeger here with JudySeegerDetox.com. Yes, that's the website where I am your detox and cleanse specialist to show you exactly what it takes to take care of yourself while you're on this journey of life. Yes, and today is a very special day, Valentine's Day, and I want to give you guys a very special video on taking care of your heart. So uh, I'm waiting for you guys to come on in and be, make sure that you have all the details today about the three tips to taking care of your heart. In the meantime, love to tell you guys that I have a new Facebook page that is called Judy Seeger Detox and love to have you guys on there. It's going to be specifically for those of you who want the details about detox and cleansing and I want to make sure that you guys are there. So it's going to be our own page, our own place, our own hangout. Uh, this is going to be more my fun page where I'll share all kinds of stuff. So eventually we'll get you guys all over there. So go on over to that page, Judy Secret Detox. I'll make sure you guys get in there. So I <laughs> see you guys getting in this morning. Thank you for being here. I love to have you guys as always. And you guys are all my Valentines. I love all of you and thank you for being on here. So here's the deal to take care of your heart because it is Valentine's Day. Yeah, see you Gabby. Hey, how are you? My Hungarian friends are on here. My uh, Facebook friends, everybody's on here. Good morning, good morning. Love to have you guys on here. Waiting for my UK crowd to get in here. Usually you guys get in here as well. So I know I only do these videos now a couple times a week and that's because I'm busy making cool projects for you guys. I have um, workshops coming up at the end of the month that I think you're going to really like. So always doing things for you guys. So hey, good morning Cindy. Glad to have you on. Tanisha, appreciate you being on here as well. So three tips for healthy heart because it is Valentine's Day and we want to make sure that this main organ in your body is being taken care of, right? So first things first is uh, make sure that you have the mineral that you need to take care of it. So what would be the mineral that you need to take care of your heart? Put it down below. I'd love to hear to see if you guys know the number one mineral that helps your heart to stay healthy. It's a mineral. I might give you guys a multiple choice if you don't know. What would be the one mineral that you have to have? Typically people will say uh, this common one, I'm not going to tell you, but they uh, will say that one, I'm like, no. So what is the mineral that you think would you need to have to take care of your heart? Because here's the deal. Today is Valentine's Day and lots and lots of people are having their sweets. They're taking their sweetheart out and having this wonderful sweet time out with them, which is great. I encourage that. It's like, yeah, go out and have a lovely time. Go out and have dinner and have a lovely dessert or whatever, whatever. But as you're eating that sugar, what happens is, is that it steals minerals from your body, right? So a lot of times people are having issues with restless leg, they're having cramping, they're having um, all kinds of issues because the sugar is stealing from the muscle and your heart is the number one muscle out there that you have to take care of. You have to make sure that it's getting the mineral that it needs, right? Um, so <laughs> somebody's already cheated, yeah? So what is it, the mineral? What is the mineral that you're um, getting stolen, that you, the muscles are, um, they're, they're losing every time you eat sugar? I'm waiting to hear, what are you guys putting down there, yeah? So here's the deal, when you go out, go have a good time, have the sweets, but you have to understand that you have to replenish that mineral. You have to put it back into your body to make sure you have it, because if you don't, restless legs and cramping and all that is just a sign that your body is breaking down. So that's not a good thing, right? We wanna make sure that you're building it up. So when you are um, having your sweets today and having a great time, that's wonderful, but then you got to make sure that the rest of the week you're replenishing the, the mineral that was has been stolen. So I'm not seeing any answers here. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to wait now till the end of the video. I'm not gonna give away the secret. I'm looking to see who knows what is the mineral that your heart needs the most. Which one is it? Do I need to give you a multiple choice? Yes? No? What do you want? Okay, so here's the deal. Then the, um, Cindy's already putting it out there. Yeah, all right. So that's one answer. Anybody else know? Cindy Benson is on it. Um, all right, so what is the herb that you need? Okay, so I'm going to talk about the, uh, the mineral. I'm going to talk about an herb. And I'm going to talk about a therapy that really helps your heart to stay healthy. So number, number one is the mineral. We're waiting to see what you guys come up with on, on that. 
Number two is the herbs. So when you have anything where your heart feels like it's pounding or stressed, or of course, as we get older, we are watching to make sure we don't have any heart disease issues. And for women, we're going up too high and it's happening more and more. Heart attacks are becoming prevalent. So we want to make sure that is not something you ever, ever have to worry about. So the herb that helps us keep your system calm is chamomile. Chamomile drinking uh, or drinking chamomile tea every day, like one or two cups, gets you so that you're just even healed and that you're you're not doing this loop de loop jump as you're going through stressful days. So one or two cups a day keeps you nice and even. It helps your anxiety, helps your stress levels. I know when I was working in my clinic and I was putting in 70, 80, 80 hours a week, I was really stressed out and I was drinking a lot of chamomile. I was up to a quart a day and that really helped to just be able to handle the day better. So when you stay calm and you're not under as much stress that your body cannot handle like if you're at work or you're having family and you know all the stress that we have in life then your body takes a hit and your heart is certainly no exception and so we really need to take care of that so chamomile tea drinking once or twice a day is great um, but to take it up a notch even more so there's an herb called hawthorn hawthorn is a little berry that grows on trees and i first got introduced to it years ago when I was studying uh, as a to become a naturopath, and there's a guy in the office in the in the class who had an office that he ran a big company and he had all kinds of health issues. Stress was a big issue in his life, of course, and he was having heart attacks. And he had like a, like two or three heart attacks before he said, "Well, this is not working. I don't want to die with this. What do I do?" So he went looking for alternative stuff. And he found out that Hawthorne was great for the heart, excellent for the whole circulatory system. And, whole, and so he went and made a company using Hawthorne. He made some kind of syrup and because he had Hawthorne trees all, over, all around his property. So I studied it some more and learned that, yes, Hawthorne is a great herb to help the heart, the whole circulation system, and to taking it as a syrup or as a liquid two to three times a day is excellent for the heart, really gets it a lot stronger, gives it the minerals that it needs, and it gets it so that um, your body is not so stressed out. And, and as you get older, like I say, worried about having heart disease of any kind. You don't want to worry about that. So chamomile first, drink that once or twice a day. And then if you are worried about heart disease in your family or you've been already having maybe some tachycardia, which is rapid heartbeat, maybe you're having some cholesterol issues, meaning that there's plaque in your arterial, uh, walls, then you have to do something to help your body to clear that out. And Hawthorne is great. Okay, so that's the herb. And the third thing is to go have a Epsom salt bath, right? I also often talk about detox bath, but when you are um, looking at your your heart and taking care of it, Epsom salts take your body down a notch and again, it helps to relax. So taking a, uh, a Epsom salt bath using two cups and then adding some lavender is lovely. I know Gabby's on here who loves her essential oils. A lot of people use essential oils. I know there's other ones on here, um, other uh, aromatherapy oils and essential oils and all kinds of things that help. But lavender is an easy one. You can get that just about anywhere. Lots of people now are selling it. It's wonderful. I love it. Put a few drops in, go relax in the bath, and it just brings you down a notch so you could even sleep better. You have more energy, and it helps your heart to de-stress. So Epsom salt bath, soak 30 minutes. Have a lovely cup of chamomile tea and you'll sleep like a baby. It's excellent, yeah? Okay, so um, Cindy Benson is the winner. She's the only one who came up with it. Yeah, so what is the mineral that your heart needs? It's magnesium. Magnesium. So many people think it's calcium. And I see actually more problems with calcium because it builds up in the kidneys and you get, you get kidney stones and calcification in your joints and it's just not a good idea. So best to take magnesium. You could take it as a supplement. There's many different kinds of magnesium. There's magnesium citrate, magnesium um, oxide. There's all different kinds. Get a combo. doesn't matter. Um, at this point, just get some magnesium in, 400 milligrams a day, and your heart will be happy. Okay, so that's the three, the food, the herbs, the minerals, yeah? 
Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you get a star, Cindy. Yeah, you get the star for today. Um, but I'll have other Cindy's get on later, and, and I know they'll, they'll be putting it in as well. Um, so here's the deal. The biggest thing to take care of your heart is the emotional, spiritual, mental connection. You know, I always talk about that on some level because it is a very important part. So today, when you spend your day with your loved ones, make sure that you're not only giving your love to them, but you're receiving the love. It's very, very important. When you are in a loving relationship, that's wonderful. But I know a lot of you are not. You don't have support. You're going through your healing journey. You're frustrated. Um, it's tough, and I understand that. And that's when you go and find your community. You find groups, your church, your um, groups here on Facebook. Get people that are supportive of you because that giving that receiving a love we're not meant to be by ourselves. we are not meant to um, do this healing journey on our own i know many of you guys follow me because you are on a healing journey and i love you guys and i want to take care of you and i wish i could take you all under my wing and say come on we're going to go to the beach we're going to have a good time today but i can't so this is this is the best i could do but i'm encouraging you guys to go and Find that community, find the people that you feel the love and nurturing because your heart is the number one organ and it's all about the love and it's all about feeling the love. You know how when you love somebody, your heart just has that warm, fuzzy, nurturing, like, ooh, this is so nice, right? And that's what you need to feel every day, okay? Every day. So you need to seek it out sometimes. If you're not in a loving relationship, you could find it. I know that my good friend Fiona in England um, has a wonderful group for her cancer people, and I feel the love when I'm in that group. I just and I, you know I just pop in just to see the love and the interaction with everybody. She has a very loving group, so they're out there. Whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in a community, whether it's in a church, whether it's in in your family, it doesn't matter. Go find the love and make sure that you're surrounding yourself with it. So yes, going out to have a lovely dinner is just you know it's fun. You're having dinner and all that stuff. It's nice. But it's that daily making sure that you're having that love intake. Your, your love tank has to be high. It has to be up here for your heart to be healthy. Did you know that the number one reason that uh, in my world, an alternative medicine world, we found the number one reason people have heart disease or heart attacks because lack of love, lack of feeling that love, the lack of not having that nurturing warmth from someone who really cares about you. And yes, we all have our ups and downs in relationships for sure, but to have that love that you know that you know that somebody has everything in their heart for you in the best way they know how, and then you're receiving it. Now that's a big one. As women, I'm talking to the women, a lot of times we don't feel the love. We don't uh, receive it because we have blocks there. We're like, well, you know, if they're not going to give it to me the way I want it. I don't want it. I'm like, no, you can't do that. You know, whatever love that they're giving you, you need to receive them. Be open to it. That's always my big motto. Be open to receiving the love the way that person is giving it to you. And then that you give it and they receive it as well. So it takes a lot of communication, yes, but that love exchange has to be there. So today as you go out and you're having your lovely dinner and you're having your um, treat or whatever with whoever you're spending time with, that's great. But just make sure that you continue the love, right? So you're saying things on a daily basis. Are you saying something positive? Are you receiving something positive? Are you making sure that you're saying things that are uplifting and supporting? That's all about the love. That's what it takes for your heart to be happy. So yes, you could drink the tea all day long. Yes, you could have all these herbs and having all this food and minerals and all that. Those are helpful. But the ultimate, most powerful way to take care of your heart is that love exchange, right? So make sure, make sure that you're doing something that you're, first of all, finding that support, finding the love of the people that are around you that have that willingness to be exchanged, that, that you're going to give love and you're going to receive love, and then make sure you do it, right? That's really the bottom line. So there's many different ways to do that. So Mickey's on here. Hey, big shout out to you, my friend, and Cindy uh, Latoza. 
Um, and Cindy Benson, she's too, too tired to go out, and that's that's fine. Go take care of yourself at home. Have your wonderful bath tonight, Cindy, and enjoy yourself. That's fine. Teresa's in the house. Thank you guys so much for being on here. Yeah, thank you for the happy Valentine's Day, Mickey. She's an awesome, awesome graphic artist. Love her. Uh, love her work and all that. So here's the deal. It's what you want to do is really focus on the emotional, mental, spiritual part because that's how your heart stays happy, and we want a happy, healthy heart. As we get older, the heart takes much more of a hit because we have issues we have not dealt with, because we're not communicating with those that we love or want to love, and therefore our heart takes a hit. Like, you know, like when somebody hurts you, your heart hurts. Like it, like it feels almost like there's a pain there, right? So when you let it go and you say, okay, it happened, it's done, and you move on, you make sure that you're continuing then finding the ways to encourage that love. It's all about the love, my friends, all about the love. All right, this is my shout out love to you guys. I am going to, the end of the week, have another video for you guys to let you know about more cool stuff I'm having for you to make sure that you stay on the path of health and you feel like a million bucks. Okay, guys, have an awesome day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.